What's up, what's going on legends? It's your boy Earl Shatter and welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be talking about the FFAR and how to build the fastest loadout or class setup here in season two. You guys are gonna to wanna to miss out because the FFAR at this point is the meta. It is pretty much dominating here in season two and it's overdue for a nerf if you ask me. But you know what? You guys are gonna to wanna to take a look at this setup. Go out there and try it for yourselves while you still can because I'm telling you the nerf is coming. Now, alongside of obviously sharing with you guys the loadout or class that we could be running, I'm going to be sharing with you guys sort of an alternate one you can do as well, because after I kind of put this together and decided what I was going to do for this video, they finally released the fix for the agency suppressor. So now that is no longer out of commission. I'm going to be sharing with you guys pretty much two for one in this video today, and both of these setups are going to work really well. Now, I'm not going to just be sharing with you guys the loadout or class of today. I do want to talk to you guys about just how much of this specific loadout changes from the base variant, just so you guys know how dominant this weapon truly is. And obviously, if you guys have been out there and you guys have been using it, you know it's good. But you could be using the wrong setup. And you know what? It's important to know what attachments to be running and why you want to be using the setup that you're using. So we're going to dive into some data. We're also going to obviously cover the best class setup or loadout. But before we jump into the rest of the video, if you guys do enjoy this content at any time or find this video helpful in any way, make sure you guys go down below and show your support by smashing that like button. Let's go ahead and throw an easy goal of 30 likes on today's video, as well as if you guys want to find your way back to the channel for more Cold War and Warzone content, make sure you guys do hit that subscribe button alongside that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. Alrighty, so like I said today, I'm going to share with you guys some data. I want to just basically compare this class setup or loadout that we're using today, which is the fastest FFAR loadout, to the original base variant. So that way you guys can see exactly, you know, how much this increases the value of this weapon. So essentially with the base variant of the FFAR, you're going to have, if you hit all headshots, a time to kill of 333 milliseconds. And that's only if you are managed to hit all headshots, obviously, and that would be six shots to the head. Now, if you were to hit all chest, which is obviously more realistic, you're gonna have 467 milliseconds on your time to kill. That's for the base variant. Now with the loadout that we're gonna be talking about today, we're gonna be able to extend that same range, same time to kill we just referenced up to 46.8 meters. So we, we have a range increase of 30%. Our ADS time is going to be faster by 1.28% at a 235 milliseconds. And then we're going to get a reload increase of 36% faster. We're going to get attack sprint to fire of 42.55% faster. Our bullet velocity is going to be 65% faster. Our mag size is 100% increased. Our sprint to fire time is 46% quicker. And like I said before, that range is increased by 30%. So the amount of value this overall setup or loadout I'm sharing with you guys today is insane. It's got fast ADS, we have a fast reload, our tactic sprint time is short, our sprint to fire time is short, our magazine size is good, our bullet velocity is great. So we're overall increasing this, with this weapon a lot. This is gonna be one of the best possible weapons to be running here in season two, at least up until this point. I think, like I said, they're gonna nerf this weapon. I think it's pretty much gonna be you know, a one and done. I don't think anyone's going to be using it much after it gets a nerf, but we're going to have to wait and see exactly what they do. But essentially, 30% increase to your range. Bullet velocity is insanely increased. You guys are probably wondering, what are the actual attachments? So let's go ahead and jump into it and let's cover what attachments we're running here in Season 2 for the fastest FFAR loadout. All right, so we've covered the data. You know, we're, you know, improving our ADS speed. We're improving our magazine. We're overall increasing our bullet velocity now what are the attachments to go into that and we're going to go ahead and discuss it right here so for our first attachment we have our barrel the 19.5 inch reinforced heavy it's going to increase our effective damage range along aside our bullet velocity so it's responsible for that increase of 30 percent damage range taking us from 36 to 46.8 on our damage values so that's huge. That's going to make this thing that much better. And if you think about it, the FFAR is really good in close quarters, or at least better in close quarters, not so great in long distance engagements. So it's overall going to make this the most effective it could be in the ranges that you're typically going to be running this weapon. And then the bullet velocity was huge, is increasing, increasing that by 65%. Just that's going to obviously make your bullets hit your targets quicker. It's going to make it feel a little bit more like hit scan the closer or further you get over a thousand, a thousand. And we're, we're basically there with this. So our next attachment is going to be the Raider stock, increasing our ADS fire move speed, aim walking movement speed, as well as our sprint to fire time. So that's going to help us quite a bit. I like to use for the rear grip, the speed tape. 
which is going to help us with ADS time by like four milliseconds, nothing crazy. And then for the ammunition, we have the Salvo 50 round fast mag. There's no reason why you shouldn't use this. For this weapon, you're definitely going to need the biggest magazine. And by having the fast mag, you're just going to be able to reload quickly. It's going to reload quicker than your you know typical stock, no attachment version of this weapon. And it's going to do so by quite a bit. Obviously, the reload time is decreased by 36% running this. So I don't see why not. 50 rounds, go for it. Our next attachment and our last attachment here is the SFOD speed grip. It's going to be helping us with our sprinting move speed as well as our horizontal recoil control. I mean, vertical recoil, I think personally, is a lot easier to control. So having it be a little less side to side, anything you can do to help is important. The only downfall to this is movement speed, which is going to be your walking speed. So that's not huge anyways. Basically, there's not a lot of negatives to running this grip. All right, like I said, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys basically two setups today. So we've covered all the attachments that I'm running on my fastest FFAR loadout, but after I kind of put this together, they finally decided to fix the agency suppressor, restore it to its former glory. So another basically variant you could run of this instead of using the under barrel as the SVOD speed grip, and you could probably swap out the rear grip as well. You could then run the agency suppressor as your muzzle, then for your under barrel, the field agent grip. Now, either one of these setups are gonna do pretty much the same. They're gonna both do absolutely incredible, and I highly recommend you guys go out there and try this FFAR loadout. It's fast, it's mean, and it's just absolutely disgusting. I'm, I'm guaranteeing you guys at this point, this is gonna get a nerf in the near future. So you're gonna to wanna to take advantage of it while you can. Why not? Everybody else is out there using it, you should be using it too, but the difference is now that you've been here and you've seen this video, you have the right loadout or class setup. Now, I do want to give one shout out to True Game Data for all of the values. I went over there and checked out his site. Obviously, that's where I got some of my data here to share with you guys. And overall, he's just running a great website over there. So you guys, you guys want to in more in depth on the loadouts and stuff that you're running, you guys can go check him out. I'm gonna leave the, the link down in the description below. And you guys can build whatever loadouts you want and see the pluses and minuses of all of that stuff. Because he does all the true testing alongside of obviously J God, of course, and many others. So there's a lot of real data out there. You guys can find out exactly what you're running. And I'm going to use it to share with you guys the most accurate uh, information I can. So hopefully you guys all enjoyed today's video. Thank you guys all for tuning in. If you guys, again, did enjoy this at any time, make sure you guys are down below and hit that like button. Hopefully I got see you guys all in the next one. Peace.